In less than a couple of hours, people in Kamloops will be the first in B.C. to be allowed to legally buy pot from a government-operated cannabis store. We now go live to Mary Cranston, who's in Kamloops this morning, and the line there is growing. Good morning, Mary. Hi, yes, uh, good morning, Greg. The line is starting to grow a little bit more. We've been here since 5 a.m., but some customers just started to roll in about an hour or so ago. I'm with Becky Preet. She was the first customer in line, and she's been camping out since about 6 a.m., would you say? Yep, just slightly after 6. Yeah, and you drove in from Kelowna. Yes, I did. So why did you decide to come all this way for the opening? Well, it's exciting because it's the first time you can legally buy cannabis in a store. Um, but I also work in the industry, so I wanted to make sure that I was here pretty early so when the rest of the crew comes, we have a good spot in line so we can get in and out quick. That's awesome. So you're hoping to get in, get a look at the store, get some products, and then hit the road. You're not going to stay here all day. Well, no, I think that there's probably going to be a lot of people that want to shop, so I'll grab my stuff, check it out real quick, and then I'll be back maybe when it's a little bit better for me to spend some time in it. How long have you been looking forward to this day? <sighs> probably like at least a decade, if not more, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a historic day for our province. It's a historic day for our country. Um, being someone who works in the industry, I mean, what is everyone talking about? Oh, we're just excited. It's legal. We're excited that you can go into stores. And to be honest with you, like, I'm just really excited that now that it's legal, no one can really say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you find that the stigma has faded quite a bit or will start to fade rapidly after today? I hope it does, to be quite honest with you, because that's one of my biggest things where there's a lot of stigma out there and I just don't think there needs to be. But to be honest with you, I feel like as soon as we're a couple years deep, there's probably going to be less stigma out there. But I don't really know, to be honest with you. Now, we just got a, a quick sneak peek inside the store. Um, it's not your typical uh, grocery store, liquor store, where you can just pick products off the shelves. You actually have to go in, sniff the product for yourself, learn a little bit about it, have an employee help you out. Um, I guess, how do you feel about that? What are you expecting when you walk in there? Uh, I'm quite excited to check out all the sniff jars. I heard that you can kind of see some of the bud, you can smell the bud and that kind of stuff. But it is kind of nice that there's people that know the product and they'll be able to help people that maybe don't really know that much about it. But I'm really excited. I hear it's like super pretty. So I heard there's some good eye candy in there today. Yeah, it's a great design layout. Well, thank you so much, Becky. Thank you for your time. And uh, in just a few minutes, we will be getting a first-hand look inside the store, a more thorough tour of uh, what you can expect at uh, British Columbia's first government-run cannabis pot shop. Over to you, Greg. Becky's lost her spot in line now, Mary. <laughs> Actually, no, she has her chair right there. I figured so. Okay. All right. We'll check she's made back some friends in line, so she's all good. Very nice. We'll check back with you later on this morning. Mary live for Kamloops this morning. All right. We're going to go live now to the Vancouver Art Gallery, where Travis Prasad is hanging out. Travis, uh, what's happening there today? Hi, Greg. Yeah, I'm at Robson Square right now, and you can see the art gallery right behind me. Historically, this has been a place where the public would gather to celebrate or protest or push for the legalization of marijuana. Today, people will be gathered here again, but now that marijuana is legal, the conversation is going to change. So at 1130 this morning,